Hey all, this is Chris with Orlando in the Moment, and today I am here at SeaWorld for the Halloween Spectacular. And of course it's raining again, but today we are here and we are going to do the SeaWorld Spectacular scavenger hunt. And so we are going to go to all these different locations and find our, um, it says to hiding at each location with a candy on them. And then once you find all of them, you return them in and redeem them for a prize. So let's, uh, here it is, how to play. This was um, $10 and here's all the stickers. So we're going to go around and we're going to find the clues and do the scavenger hunt and find out what our prize is. Right? Let's head in. I also couldn't resist participating in the trick-or-treating that was going on. This was a cute little bag that I had to have find me on social media and this bag was $4.99 and it's a multi-use multi bag. You could use it again and again, but you had to buy that bag in order to do the trick-or-treating. Okay, so the SeaWorld Spectacular runs from September 16th to October 31st. They have all different um, activities, like you could see. They have um, breakfast with um, the Count, Meet a Mermaid, Pumpkin Story Time, the Trick or Treat Trail, and a Scarecrow Dance Party. So cute. Okay, so we're heading over to the first clue over by Stingray Lagoon and there's that gargoyle and there is our candy corn giving us a clue that that's where we're supposed to head over. Okay, so we found the first one and he was really hard to find, but there he is, the shark. Okay, so now here you follow the trail and you follow these big um, kites kind of thing, <laughs> I think that's what they're called, and you follow it to the next area where you look for our next clue okay so it's really cute they have it really decorated nice um for halloween i have to say i got so distracted as i was walking through this area because i absolutely loved how these bubbles looked so they had a bubble blower and it was also combined with a fog machine so these bubbles were like this white color and when they popped, it let off a little bit of the fog. I was just fascinated by how they were sticking to these trees. And I wasn't even paying attention looking for our clues anymore in the scavenger hunt because I was having so much fun uh, looking at these bubbles and popping them and chasing them down. And I, ju I just love being in here. So uh, I kind of got carried away with taking some, some footage here. I got distracted. <laughs> But we finally did find our next clue along the scavenger hunt, so all was forgiven. Okay, moving along, we have found the next one. This cute little bumblebee in this area over here by the conservation center area. Never been over here. It's over here. Huh. What's in this area? This is really pretty. I've never been in this area. Okay, so I'm taking a detour from the scavenger hunt because I've never been in this area before. Oh my goodness! Look at the sea turtle! Oh my goodness! Oh, what a treat! Hi! So big! Oh my goodness! I just love that. Hi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they have all these like, um, see more worms. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Rick, um, Rick Amortis, My Remains, My Remains, Ben Better, <laughs> for sure, Manny Bones, Many Bones, <laughs> so it's cute, so they have this all set up, you be next, uh-oh, I'm a goner, Candy Stealer, 
so cute. This is really cute. This is where they do the pumpkin story time and you can see the hours here. And you go through this really big pumpkin, this blow up pumpkin. So let's head on through. This is dry in here. So it's cute. They have like all these little uh, pumpkins set up in this area. <laughs> They're all like decorated. Really cute. I like this. Really fun for the kids. That must be where the story time happens. These are really cute. Really like this area. Really nice job. This also may or may not be see the scene where you can find your next clue in our scavenger hunt. So, hidden amongst there is a little pumpkin all the way up there, that little turtle pumpkin. Okay, here's our next one. Aw, a dolphin dressed like a cheerleader. And here is another one of our scavenger finds. It definitely got easier once the rain stopped. We were able to walk around a little bit easier and look for the little hidden um, pictures. See, they, and, and they were just, once we knew what we were looking for, it was a little bit easier. It was a hard at the beginning, but I just think because it, it was raining and it was a little bit, uh, a lot going on. So I decided to take a break and I bought myself a Halloween trick or treat bag. So these are $4.99. They are reusable bags. You have to pay for a bag in order to do the trick or treating. And then you get it to walk around to all these different stations and they drop little piles of candy inside your bag. And it was just so much fun. A lot of adults and children were doing it. Um, they have these little stations set up with really great costumes all around. And this was just really a great day. I just really had a lot of fun and it really got me into the Halloween spirit. So then as we were walking through these scarecrow areas, um, oh look at that cute scarecrow with a crow on him. And we walked over here and we found another item from our scavenger hunt. Actually found two more in this area so that was a little bit easy. And then finally we were able to find our last clue along our scavenger hunt and it was complete. So as we were walking along, I got a little bit distracted over here because I don't ever remember becoming in this area and there was an American, a bunch of American alligators in here and I just had to take a moment and pause and just check them out. I just, I, I really like looking at this area. So we completed our scavenger hunt. We went to all the areas and found all of the clues along our way and it's time to head in to redeem for our prize. So let's go into the store and get see what we got. So we were handed this um, bunch of cups. They are metal cups and they have different characters on them and pe animals dressed up for Halloween and some sayings. And it just says feeling corny. Um, they were pretty nice quality. They were like a metal um, cup. I had a little hard time getting them out. There's a cute little witch turtle. And it says, which way to the candy? And let's see, there was one more in here and I had a hard time getting it out. So yeah, I struggled with this. So hold on a second, my husband had to come and help me. And it is a shark and it says here to save the candy. So these were a nice little treat to get at the end. Um, like I said, this was $10 to go around and do the scavenger hunt. It was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, once we figured out what we were looking for, it definitely got easier. But what a great way to spend some time going around with the kids, looking at everything in the park, and just enjoying yourselves, and then at the end, getting a prize. It was a really great time, and I really enjoyed it. So that's it for our stay here at SeaWorld. We got to do some trick-or-treating. We finished the scavenger hunt. We got a prize and we got some candy to head home with. All in all, I would say that this was a fantastic time. If you're looking for something fun to do with the family, I highly recommend heading over to SeaWorld for their spooktacular celebration. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed myself. As always, friends, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, 
Always take time to live in the moment. Have a great day.